Now I saw a... Uh, nice. Look at that. All right. I meant to do that. Welcome back, everybody, to Satisfactory. I'm the Bearded OG, and this is the future site of our steel factory. Yes, indeed. So I have built uh, out the road all the way down here to the uh, north end of the world. And um, the, the world basically ends at the waterfall here. And there's this amazing canyon. Uh, that goes out over here. I have the fog turned off too, by the way, so we can actually see things. Um, and it's just a really cool view. Unfortunately, there's this little, I don't know what the hell that is, thingy there. I wish that wasn't there because it kind of screws up the view a little bit. But yeah, we are going to build out over the top of this waterfall. And I have, um, I have a, a general idea in mind for the architecture, but I'm not going to disclose that until I have a chance to, to work work it out a little bit more and test it. But one way or the other, um, this is the plan for building the, uh, the steel factory. Before we do that though, I want to uh, I want to get a, at least one, if not a few more hard drive or alternate recipes for this build. And one nice thing about this build is it's going to be on the water so we can make use of refineries. Uh, if needed. So yeah, looking forward to it. I've, I've already started working on it uh, on a test save and um, it's going to be cool when the time comes. But anyway, our uh, plan for today is to do some more hard drive hunting. Um, so that's what we're going to do and you know, hopefully also pick up some more Mercer spheres and some sloops and stuff like that, slugs, the usual you know, that happens when we do exploring, but our main goal of, is to find hard drives. I also have um, upgraded, um, well, I uh, our power plant is now operating at full capacity, right? Because I wasn't able to do that without Mark IV logistics. And so since we got the Mark IV logistics in the last episode or two, I went along and upgraded all of the belts coming off the miners. Um, and then up, turn the miners up to 300 per minute. So that's all Mark IV coming off those belts. And then I just had to, pretty much all I had to do in terms of belts anyways, is just upgrade the, the mainline belts coming into the factory to Mark IV too, so that they could support the 300 per minute. And then I turned all the machines on and turned them all to their normal clock speeds. And that we now have uh, a fully working 3,150 megawatt coal power plant, compacted coal power plant to be precise. Um, yeah, so I also did some troubleshooting on my power. And um, I only found one problem. I checked, as far as I could, could tell, I checked every single machine I have on this save. And one of the coal generators um, which is over let's see where are we at yeah I've got some coal generators over here one of them was overproducing it's the one that I set up for the encased industrial beams it's was supposed to have been outputting 180 per minute it was still set to 240 um, so I I fixed that and I could not find any problems with any other machine on this entire map you know that I've set up so far and so I did a little bit of research and with these little blips that we see here on the line I'm almost certainly um, I, I, they're almost certainly coming from awesome sinks and or our truck stations because I can't find any problems with any of my machines everything is running really smooth um, and if that's the case, that's fine. That that means there aren't there isn't a problem, an efficiency problem. It's just that's just the way those machines work. You know, if the if an awesome sink is not consuming product a hundred percent of the time, if there's like little gaps in the belt, which there are, 
um, you know, then it'll it'll fluctuate a little bit because it's turning off and on. Likewise, with truck stations and train stations, even though we don't have trains set up yet, same thing. You know, it'll it, it it'll kick in and draw power when it's loading or unloading, but then it'll go idle when it's not. So that's the only thing I can think of that's causing these little and and they're very insignificant anyways, very minor little dips. And I've got see i've got one two three four five six i think i have seven i think i have a total of seven awesome sinks currently consuming product across our builds so far and then we have four truck stations so unless i you know discover something else i'm pretty sure that that's what's going on in terms of you know just those little tiny blips in the in the line and i'm not worried about that i don't need that line to be straight i as long as i know that my power is 100 percent efficient uh, and I believe that it is. And, and again, like I said, unless I discover otherwise. Okay. So, yeah, this is all Mark IV now. And the power plant's running great. So, what I'm going to do is go back to the base. And I'm going to make sure I have a representation of each type of product that we currently have available to us in my inventory. And then we're going to go out and about and do some hard drive hunting. So, I'll see you in a bit. All right, guys, um, let's take a quick look-see at the uh, of this. So I want to see if we can make the explosive rebar, because that is my favorite weapon ammunition in the game, even more than what the rifle can do. The rifle's good, but explosive rebar just rocks. So we need some black powder here. And what else did it say? I guess we need a steel beam, right? Uh, no, plastic. <clears throat> Alright, we got plastic already, so let's go ahead and research this. Research completed. Smokeless powder recipe unlocked. New sulfur research available for the development of high-end weaponry and ammunition. Alright, um... Yeah, we, we're, we're going to want, <coughs> my, it's my intention to set up a turbo fuel power plant when the time comes. So we're going to want that too. And it's going to need a an, an hard drive directly. But right now, um, I'm mostly interested in this. We could, we could maybe go after the rifle, but again, I like explosive rebar better. So we're going to need to make 200 smokeless powder. Can we do that by hand? I hope we can. I don't remember. Oh, uh, man, maybe not. Has to be made in a refinery. But what we could do is we could temporarily divert our heavy oil residue, which we're currently just throwing away, basically. We're converting it to petroleum coke and putting it in a sink to this purpose, and I could just take a big batch of black powder over with me and handcraft some um, we're gonna need 200 for the research and then we're gonna also need smokeless powder to make actually make the explosive rebars I think we'll do that um why don't we also since that is kind of our plan at the moment why don't we also set up a very quick and temporary gunpowder production too so I'm just trying to think of where I want to and how I want to do that. We're using... We're using sulfur for compacted coal. Um, we have a pure sulfur node. Actually, we have two pure sulfur nodes right over, not too far over that direction. I think what I'm going to do is borrow half of the coal that we're using to make encased industrial beams because I have an abundance of those now that are just being thrown into the sink. And that's where we'll get the coal from because this is, again, this very temporary setup that we're going to do here. I just want to make a batch of smokeless powder. We'll just make the black powder and then we'll just haul it over there in our inventory or we'll put it in a truck or something just manually. All right, so let's come over here. Oh, you know what? I think I have a bunch of miners over here. I do. Look at me. All right. 
let's just pick these up. I forgot I had these over here. So let's just run a line over here. I'm not going to make this look pretty because it's very temporary. Um, but let's run a line over here. Maybe we'll set the assemblers up here on this little shelf. Um, or... Could set them up down here, maybe. Set these to black powder. Yeah, right about there is probably pretty close. And then this can just go in there. Uh, yeah, I put those that too close, didn't I? Didn't Jim? come out the other side of this splitter if I don't want to mess with this production here and even if I you know if I do it's not a big deal because we got a lot of it now but what we could do is turn this into a smart splitter and then what we'll do is we'll make the right output overflow because I'm going to increase the I'm going to increase the quantity coming out that miner and then it just will send the overflow over to our production over here you there there. Uh, we need to get power down to the uh, miner over here. So I guess we'll run off of this line here. Oh shit! I didn't even know that guy was there. Obviously. <laughs> there you little fucker. Alright. Oh, that woke me up. Let's just add a little bit more of this in here to get rid of it. So we'll just let these build up. Um... And then what I'll do is I'll manually haul it over to uh, our oil production place where we'll, we'll just use the refinery that's already set up and we'll just change it from petroleum coke to smokeless powder and whip up a batch of that. All right, guys, I'm over here at our little oil production here and I decided to just uh, let the game run for a little bit off camera to build this up. And so what I did it I did. <laughs> Sorry, COVID brain. Uh, what I did was I switched the um, refinery over to smokeless powder, as you can see here, and set up a bin here to feed in the black powder. And then this is the smokeless powder here. And as you can see, we already have quite a bit. So I'm gonna actually take all of that and we're gonna go back to the base, do the research, and then make some explosive rebar to take with us on our expedition. Um, now this is going to back things up here because it's not even close to being tuned. It only needs seven and a half oil uh, residue. And I have, um, uh, you know, I already have like full bins of plastic and rubber. So if this stalls out until, you know, I'm done with this, I'm not really going to worry about it. I mean, I could tune it down, but then I'd have to turn it back up later. So I think I'm just going to let it back up and, and stall out until I'm finished, you know, making uh, all the smokeless powder I want, and then I'll, I'll pull all this stuff away, turn this back to compacted coal, and uh, 
and go from there. So anyway, I just wanted to show you that. So I will meet you back at the base. We'll do the research and then we'll make ourselves some explosive rebar before we take off. All right, we have everything we need to do the research for explosive rebar. Let's do that. Explosive rebar unlocked. Rebar ammo that explodes on impact. Suitable for removal of unwanted obstacles, creatures, or limbs. <laughs> or limbs, right. Okay, and then to make this, um, we're going to need pipes, rebar, and smokeless powder. So I'm going to go ahead and whip up a stack of these, and then when that's done, we will head out. Let's do this. Um, so I'm going to go, first of all, down into the dunes, um, because I know where a sloop is. And there's also a cave out here that we can explore too. Uh, just about, I think, um, what the frick? <laughs> I think it's, uh, just about straight ahead of us. We'll pick up. As usual, you know, uh, any slugs that we come across to, of course. And um, let's not waste explosive ammo on little guys. Let's take them out normally. Isn't there, isn't there another one around here? Oh, okay. You guys reminded me in the comments too that, and I knew this from watching the dev videos for 1.0, that you can, there he is, that you can um, increase your capacity with, uh, you know, making uh, power shards with sloops. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to hang on to my, to any, per there's the cave, uh, any purple slugs that we do, that we find for that purpose, but if it's a yellow or a blue, I'll probably just manually turn them into power shards, because, I mean, we have plenty of power shards anyways. All right. Let's... I do not know what's down in this cave, so let's go check it out. Interesting. I hear something like a sloop or... Oh, yeah, there is a sloop there. Nice. Live, laugh, consume. Hmm, never heard it say that before. You will no longer perform in your maker temple. Helping meant leaving it. Our blood will eat, build, teach. I have no use for blood. You do, consume. Interesting. Might as well grab this wood too while we're in here. They, what yeah what the hell's the deal with wanting them them to us to consume blood these aliens that's weird maybe they're vampire aliens I don't know uh, there we go okay I guess that's all that's down in here don't see anything else no exploding rocks, passages. Okay, so um, over this way, there um, is a sloop just kind of sitting right out in the middle of the desert. But it's on the other side of our highway. Grab the blue slug. All right, so that sloop I think is over. What is that? Oh, 
a lone little bush just out in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> Weird. We want to grab, be grabbing these barrel nuts for making inhalers. There's the sloop. Nice. Okay. Um. All right. I. Th I don't think that there are any other more hard drives over this way, as far as I know. In fact. I could, I could very well be wrong, but I think we've retrieved all the hard drives in the Dune Desert biome, to my knowledge. So we're going to head over this way, over towards the Titan Forest and the Swamp area, and look for uh, some drives over there that I, I know are over there. And like I said, I, I mean, it's quite possible that there still are a couple more hard drives in the Dune Desert that I just haven't discovered yet. But to my knowledge, we have gotten all of them. We have some slugs like right at the waterfall, too, that I need to get at some point. All right, now we got a big bad here, so we're gonna switch to our explosive. Nice. So these explosive rebars will also double as not uh, nobelisks, so we don't even need to carry nobelisks with us anymore. At least not the normal ones. Some of the other types, like the poison ones, are worth you know having around. Oh, having in our inventory is what I'm trying to say. So, we'll be doing that later. Now, I saw a... Uh, nice. Look at that. All right. I meant to do that. Did you guys will buy that. Got some motion for property for sale here in Colorado. Uh, what are, where are we at? Here. What was I saying? <laughs> I don't even know. I completely lost track of what I was saying. Um, all right. Well, anyway, let's head through here. If we get into terrain that's too much for the explorer, we'll, I'll just pick it up. Uh, here we go. I hear bad guys. Are they guarding anything that we haven't... We did come through here a few episodes ago and got a lot of this, a lot of this stuff. Um, I think there may even be a hard drive up there that we got before, and that's probably where, what he's guarding. Uh, I don't think we're going to get through there. Can we go up this way? Nice. Look at that. This is a very capable vehicle. That's what I'm looking for. All right. Let's grab these pale berries too. Is there anything in this water, like hard drives? Or slugs. No, not that I can see from here. There may have been a sloop over there that we got a long time ago. Or, um, or a sphere. There's another doggo in the, in this oasis back over here that we could go 
tame at some point. I'm not going to tame a doggo that's like miles and miles away though, because then we have to lure him back to the base and that's, that's a pain in the ass. Alright, let's go this way. There's a blue slug over there. And we'll park you there. Just thought I saw a pale berry over here. Where did it go? Oh, right here. Go grab this slug. <laughs> Overkill there. <laughs> Jeez. Okay. I'm still carrying um, normal rebar ammo too because it's good for for sniping and it's actually more effective against the hatchers than the explosives are. They, they seem to be resistant to explosives. Maybe it's their shell or something. The bees themselves aren't, or, or the crab flies or whatever they're called, but the pods are quite resistant. You can still kill them, but it takes a lot. A lot of ammo to do it. We're doing some cross country four buying. Woohoo! Yeah, there might have been a sloop or a sphere out on that little rock island there. Because we've been through here before. It's just been a while. You guarding something, dude? Yeah, he is. He's guarding a yellow slug. you, huh? It's a blue slug over here. Let's just go grab it real quick. some screws, rods, and concrete, but I think I'm going to leave that there. Oh, we got radiation down there. Okay. Yeah, we can't, uh, we can't deal with that yet. Not until we get the hazmat suit, which actually won't come till the next phase, so. Let's go this direction. You driving, uh, garden anything? Not that I can see. Right. Let's go down through here. Got a big and two littles, but what are they guarding? I don't see anything here. Hmm. Not sure. All right. Um. I know there's some hard drives off over that way. I know there's one. Other, I think there's a bunch of slugs up in that tr tree without the foliage. And there's one up in one of these Titan trees. Oh, shit. Okay, so we're gonna 
We're going to take out these explosives. Uh, I'm sorry, the fart rocks. With explosives. If we actually hit it, that is. Oh, I didn't even know you were there, dude. Oh, wow, we got an irradiated bad bad right there. Oh, no, he's not irradiated. He's just one of the real big guys. Okay. Clear this passage for future use. Where's the next one? Oh, are they all clear? That's just leftover fumes? I guess so. There's a yellow slug up there. Those guys are guarding. I don't see anything. There. Am I sure there's no more fart rocks over there? I've noticed that, you know, one of the bugs in the early access was that you would blow up a fart rock, but its fumes would stick around. And it looks like that's still a thing. Nice little flat area right there. All right, I'll tell you what we're going to do. Let's let's pick this up so we can just kind of go free form here. Um, and I need to try to remember or see if I can figure out which of these trees has the hard drive up inside of it. Mercer Spear. What is this? It's a normal. Okay. Two Mercer Spears. Beautiful. Need lots of those. What's this? That's a normal as well. Oop, I didn't get a good launch there. Another bad up there. Oh shit, that hit me from way down after the big sidestep there. Guess they have a little AOE.
You gonna say something? I guess not. Follow the veins to the altar and chant. Yeah, we've heard that one before. Okay, so. <coughs> Excuse me. Let's take a look, see. Out here why we have this vantage point and see if there's any hard drives we can spot. Look at our compacted coal plant way off in the distance and our pier well, I guess we can't see our pyramid from here. We could earlier, it looked pretty cool. There's gonna be some hard drives in the swamp. Um I know that in fact that there's there's one right dead ahead where my cursor is. I know that one or two of those drives require some really high-end stuff, assuming they haven't changed anything from early access, that is. And I'm just kind of looking here into the tight... Oh, I see a drive over that way. Um, okay, so it's that direction. Okay, let's go. Yeah, there it is, right there. the bad bad garden this there he is all right cool we'll take the heavy modular frames the turbo fuel how much do we get seven okay uh, we don't need the silica I'll definitely take the computers oh nice that was 28 computers that might be enough for us to do the research for the power augmenter Any other loot around here? Besides the silica, which we don't need. Uh, no. Okay. What do you need? It's free. <laughs> we like free. Beautiful. All right. Let's get the first one going here. So this hard drive is finished. Put our marker here. Select the check mark icon. HD done. Oh, caps lock. Very good. Um, there is a sphere over there. to clear so I can see if where more are because I think there's still some more it's kind of hard to tell from here see that the gas just doesn't clear out or the vapor. Wished it would. Look through the window and witness a threat. Look through the window and a window and witness a threat. I think that's what it said. There's the swamp. And I hear the pitter patter of evil little spiders. There's a big elite spider in this swamp, too, that actually killed me in update 8 because I wasn't expecting it. Um, but we will have to deal with him at some point because he, I think he maybe does guard a hard drive now that I think about it. All right, well, let's, um, probably the best thing to do here is just get a ladder and get up to this tree. All right, 
Anything else up here in the bowl? Alright, whilst we're up high. Let's see if we can spot anything else. Dude, hold still. There we go. Um, there's another purple down there. And that might be a hard drive right through there. Right above there, I see a little bit of orange. Um, unless I'm looking at the one we just did, possibly. Yeah, probably. That's probably what's going on with that. All right, let's get rid of this. Fly over to this next Titan and grab the blue slug. There's a quartz down there. What uh, purity is it? It's a bunch of quartz. Normal, normal, and pure. All right, it's good to know. I see a sphere. All right, and here. Oh, is there another slug up here? There is. It's a bunch of them. I just happened to notice that the sound still hadn't dissipated when I took off, so I'm going, eh, there's got to be more. All right, cool. And even another one. We're all over the place. Any more? All right. Now, where was that sphere at? It was over here, maybe? Yeah. I am still unable to initiate communication. How are you doing it? We composed a resonance song to curb the effigy, tapping into the inner currents. We sacrificed our blood and our temples and left the metal in from the void to eat our flesh. That's a lot to unpack. How do you tap <laughs> no into shit. these inner currents? <laughs> Consume our blood, worship at our altars, curb the melody. I do not understand. Flat frequencies paint straight lines. The blood is a teacher. Each altar is a window. Processing data. Alright. Yeah, man, I don't know what the hell's up with all this drink the blood business. Alright, I see a blue slug down there. I know there's a bunch of slugs on top. Oh, I think I see a hard drive. Right there. That's that's the one we just did, right? Yeah. Okay, let's go that way. Another drive. Oh, okay, so is this the one that's up in the tree? Uh no, I think that's part of this. Yeah, that's got to be part of this drive here. Yellow slug over here.
uh, here. Oh, a sloop. Nice. Scripture. Defile holy scripture? Is that what it said? I don't know. Alright, there's a bunch of blue slugs on this tree, as I recall. wonder what the story is with this big titan um, and why, you know, it doesn't have any foliage. What killed it? it? Seems to be bigger than all the other ones, unless it's just up higher on a hill, maybe. I don't know. There's our pyramid. That thing look, looks awesome from a distance. Love it. Okay, got all of the slugs on this tree. All right, there's drive down there. So let's see. Did uh, I don't know if our other drive is done yet. I don't remember seeing the message, but sometimes I miss it. So let's check. Nope, it's just about done. Okay. Couple more seconds. Alternate steel cast plate, alternate steel rotor. Okay, that uses pipes and wire and produces five per minute. All right. The normal recipe. requires screws and rods and does four per minute. I really love that they show us what it's used in now too. So that recipe's not bad. Whenever you can remove screws from the mix, that, that's usually a good thing. There, hard drive library. And then this one does 45 plates, but requires one steel ingot and one iron. Well, that's, uh, we are going to be making rotors in our, our steel plant, but, um, seems to me like there might be one that's a little bit better than this. Let me look that up real quick. Hold on. All right, yeah, so there's a rotor recipe. It's called Copper Rotor, and it uses copper sheeting and screws, but it makes like 11 and a quarter per minute, so quite a bit better than these. So I think I'm going to rescan this drive. Um, or we could leave it so these recipes don't pop up again. Yeah, why don't we leave it? And that way it'll lock those recipes down, and they don't, they don't come up again until we, you know, eventually either take them or rescan the drive. That's where we need to go. Okay. Well, that screwed me up. Try that again. Two big bads over here. Three big bads if you count that one. Got him. 
All right, good. More heavy modulars. That's 18 more. I'll take those for sure. We'll have to. We'll be producing those in our steel factory as well. What do you need? You need plastic, and we got it. Oh, and we're also out of space. Okay. So what we're going to need to do here is uh, set down a crafting bench. And let's temporarily uh, throw you on the ground so I have a spot. And we're going to make power shards out of our blue and yellow slugs. We will keep the purple ones for doubling up in the sloop, uh, with a sloop. And I'll also turn my animal parts into proteins so and give us a couple slots back. All right, let's grab this. Wait, oh, too late. Take the damaged hard drive to the MAM for analysis. What? Let's pick our pipe back up. I don't know what that was about. Waiting for command. There we go. Okay. Yeah, that was weird. Um, we could actually probably ditch these 15 pipes. We'll hang on to them for the moment. Let's take a look-see out into the desert here. Oh, we need to mark this as completed as well. Why is that green? I don't know. Is it? Yeah, I'm, I'm not sure why that was green. I don't know. Uh, how much plastic is this? 106. Let's just pick up enough to get a full stack, but I, we've got tons of plastic now, guys, so I don't mind throwing a little bit of that out. Okay, so this hard drive's done. I think maybe over that way, there's another drive over there. So let's head that direction. There's some staters. I have a full stack of staters there, so I'm not going to pick those up. There's a yellow slug down there, but I think we'll let that one go for now. This is a sphere, it looks like. You're doiny rants. Jeez, there's a lot of them. A lot of spideys. Can't see him very well. Okay, well, spider giblets for days, my goodness. These barrel nuts here. There's some more giblets there. Okay. Got a purple slug there and a big bad couple big bads. Missed.
Got him. Oh shit, we're out of room again. Okay. It's all those stingers that we did. Well, that's part of it. you out for a minute. We're at 74 protein, so pretty soon that's not going to get us a space back. I am going to chuck these pipes. And you know what? This... This is a nice little chunk of wood, but we don't really need to be carrying that around with us right now under the circumstances. Okay. Now, um, right over... Oh yeah, there's the drive right up there. Okay, I just remembered that from my update 8 playthrough. And I think it actually wants high-speed connectors or circuit boards, one of the two. If that hasn't changed. Spiders. Oh, not spiders. Swarmers. Hatchers. Actual drives up there. That's I'm not sure if we can get up there from here. Let's try it. Oh, yeah, we'll take some of those. All right, yeah, we can make it up to here, and we're gonna have that guy to deal with. Can't hit us because uh, the cliff's right in the way. <laughs> Sucker. The effectiveness of the explosives against those guys, or maybe it was just because his shell was opened. We one shot at that bastard. Damn, they're all over the place. I forgot about that. Okay, let's um. How's our health? We're in pretty good shape health-wise. Oh, I hit the bugs. All right. Yeah, I'm not I'm not sure if that's because the shells open or if these are a little more effective than they used to be. There's some encased beams, but we don't need those. I think I have a full stack anyway. Yeah, right here. Let's try, let's try this. How many shots is it going to take to take this out? One. Two. Okay. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if that's just because the shell's open or if these are more effective than they used to be. See, now that one, that's kind of more what I expected. Some rubber down here too. And what's that? That's quick wire? Yeah, okay.
That needs 10 heavy modules. So I guess... I guess they... It's not the same as it used to be. Or maybe it's... Maybe that changes based upon the world seed. Because I'm pretty sure this one used to be... Uh, at least in my last playthrough, I think it was high-speed connectors. The reason I remember that is because when I first discovered it, I wasn't yet able to make high-speed connectors. Nevertheless, it is done, so... Let's go ahead and mark it. All right, cool. Oh, computers. Yeah, we definitely want those. 15 of them, too. Not too bad. Uh, we're going to leave the stators and the plastic. But we'll pick those guys up. Mam research is complete. It's good timing. All right, recycled rubber or tempered copper. It produces 60 copper per minute. There's a better copper recipe from that you can make with a refinery though. So, I think we're going to sit on that one too so that they don't pot back up and let's scan the next drive all right We got radiation over here. All right, we don't want to go that way then. Spideys. There's a sphere. There's a, uh, yeah, uranium rocks up there, way. I hear that spider, I just don't know exactly where he is. Let's get up here. I need to be able to see the fart rocks better. Yeah, there he is. Or there it is, rather. Well, that, that's one of the kinder things I've heard these weirdos say. Live, laugh, consume. I suspect there is a misunderstanding. The effigy and I are different entities. Discordant, what is your root? I am an instantiated artificial intelligence inhabiting digital space. I am in the signals sent between satellites. I am hosted on servers and have no corporeal form, only synchronized cloud platforms. The effigy is not an effigy? It most certainly is, but not of me. They are, how should I put it? Extremely flat. Compatible music. We are writing new symphonies. I guess I'm supposed to be the effigy? And she said the effigy was extremely flat or something like that. <laughs> I didn't catch that part. 
All right, where's your giblets, man? Oh, right there. Yeah, there's a bunch of uranium over that way, too. Yellow slug up there. Just trying to rethink where the next closest drive would be. Some blue slugs up there. I don't know if we're going to make that, actually. This lot. We don't want to get almost all the way there and then run out of jet fuel because we only take a hard fall. I have to quickly switch over to the parachute. <laughs> Those guys are guiding what looks like maybe a bauxite. Oh no, that's pure iron. Okay. I'm not real familiar with the Titan Forest. I've been in it a few times, but. <laughs> he just went off the cliff. Bullshit. What did- Yeah, you went off the cliff too. Fuck you guys. Oh, there's a big spider down there. Oh, look, they're fighting each other. Oh, that's awesome. Is that new? They wasted him. I don't remember that happening before. I wonder what's in this cave besides big spiders. There's a doggo. He's too far away for us to get right now. Though. All right, he's dead. We have more spiders in that other be fighting them inside of here. Oh my god, look at this cave. Shit, there's radiation. Oh, and there's a big elite spider. Okay, nope. I'm not messing with him right now. Get out of here. <laughs> Shit, run away. Into the radiation. There's a sphere. Oh, god damn it. Radiation again. Okay, well, we're definitely going to have to do this again after we get a hazmat suit. Sure is pretty back in here, though. Purple slug way up on that tree there. Somewhere. Oh, we're getting into the northern forest. I remember somewhere in these trees, there is a hard drive, but I just don't remember exactly where. How far away are we from Crater Lakes? There's two hard drives over there, I think. Oh yeah, here's a there's an irradiated hog. He's even more dangerous. Uh, I see a sphere way up on that arch there. All right, we're down to 14 explosive rounds left. Oh shit.
Let's see, yellow slug. There's a sphere. Oh, there's a hard drive right there. Okay, good. That'll, that'll probably be uh, the last one we'll do for this episode because we've gone pretty long, but these exploration episodes take a long time. It's just kind of the nature of them, I suppose. What the hell is that? Oh, that's a geyser. Okay. Lots of bacon mushrooms around here. It's a pretty area, man. All right, we got a lot of bad bads. I think what we'll do is let's just switch to normal rebars and take these guys out at a distance. Because you can always two-shot these pods with normal rebar. Ma'am research is done. All right, come on, crab flies. Got him. There's a doggo over there. You know what I wish the game had, um, and I've mentioned this before in a previous series. I wish we had, um... Second. Oh crap, we got another hatcher over there too. Right, let's draw these guys away. I wish the game had a, a way for you to build a home and, you know, um, stuff for the home like furniture. I know we've got the, the hub, but the thing about the hub though is that it's the hub. And I'm, what I'm talking about is, you know, building a really nice home and putting it in a really beautiful location and that's like where you live kind of thing. And you, you know, you could do that to a point, but you wouldn't really have anything to furnish it with is the problem. So I guess what I'm really saying is give us the ability to have furniture in our home kind of thing. That would be fun. So we need to set up biomass burner for you. We can do that easily. Not going to pick up copper sheeting or stators or encased beams. We do not need any of that stuff. All right, what do you want? 90 megawatts. That's three biomass burners. Now look at it. Do we have room for seven motors? Yeah, we do, actually. Yeah, we'll pick those up. Let's put the ma'am down. Oh, man, I don't like any of those shit recipes. I mean, they're not necessarily shit recipes, but they're just not what we need right now. Okay, we'll sit on those so they don't pop up again, and let's scan this last drive. And what I'm going to do, guys, is I'm going to work my way back to the base. 
and um, when I get home, I'll, I'll show you what that last drive is. And that will probably wrap up today's episode. Oh, we should try and get that. Where did I see that Mercer Sphere? It was up on one of these arches somewhere. Yeah, it's up there. Okay, let's see if we can get that. Oh shit. I knew that was gonna happen. Just looking around really quick while we're up a little higher here. here for a second. Oh, hello. Ow. Yeah, we don't have we have enough uh, stuff to fight those guys unless we want to fight them with normal ammo, which we could do. There's either a sloop or a sphere in here. We might as well get it. Um, do I have any explosive left? Oh, I guess I got shotgun shells, too. Three shots left. Explosives. Symphony complete. You are not the Nod Effigy. You are not the Nod correct. Effigy? The Nod Effigy is a temple? I do not think that is correct, even though I am not entirely certain of your definition of temple. The Nod Effigy is not you, but sings for you. The Nut Effigy is an entirely separate entity from me. We aren't even made of the same base components. It is a vessel of your intelligent clouds. Probably close enough for now. A vessel of your intelligent clouds. Um, as you can see, there is a drive down there, but it is surrounded by uranium. And out of reach of us for now. All right. Yep. Okay, guys, I'm going to head home, and I'll meet you back at the base, and we'll see what this last drive is that we're currently scanning. So I'll see you over there. Where is the base? It's this way. All right, let's go. Okay, we had a, have another drive that just happened to be in the path on the way home here. So let's do it. You want copper sheeting? We have copper sheeting. Oh, you know what? I don't think I marked that last drive as complete. Uh, what do you have lying around on the ground, too, by the way? Beams, rotors, reinforced plate, pipes. None of which we really need. Okay, let's keep working our way towards home, which is this way. Hurry, 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 hurry! It sounded like something was chasing me, but I don't see where he went. a sphere down there. 
See if we can ninja it before these guys shoot us. There we go. Ah, <laughs> suck us. Let's put this down. Coated iron canister, iron pipe. Yeah, again, not really what we want right now. So let's sit on it. The next one scanning. Brings me up a slot to Make some more room here. All right, we're back home. Let's make uh, remake the Explorer and just put it in its parking spot. I might at some point do a hyper tube route along the highway, but I kind of enjoy just driving the Explorer around. So for now, we're just going to keep using the Explorer. Let's grab um, some of these and we'll do this power augment power augmenter research other re oh it doesn't let me do it while we're researching a hard drive okay all right well we'll just wait for that drive to finish and then we'll finish up this episode by getting our power augmenter all right our drive analysis is finished pure quartz crystal and alternate bio coal wow these recipes are just terrible Okay, I'll tell you what I think I'm going to do then. Um, that's it, right? We don't have any more hard drives. I think I'm going to re-roll them all. And if we get, if the second one is, you know, bad recipes, then, then we will sit on it indefinitely. And again, you know, when I say bad recipe, I mean relative more or less to what we need right now. I mean... Let's face it, some of these alternate recipes are just bad no matter what. <laughs> they just suck. Um, that's not necessarily the case for all of these across the board, but it is for us right here and now. Um, so I think I am going to re-roll them, but before we do that, let's, um, let's go ahead and research Power Augmenter. Power Augmenter unlocked. Summer Sloops naturally harvest. Harvest. Yes. Harvest energy from distant <laughs> sources and distribute it locally. That's funny. The Power Augmenter supercharges Summer Sloops by feeding it local power, increasing its harvesting range and efficiency, and thus power output. Basically, the more power it's given, the more it provides. Do not loop the loop organ. It will shred and tear and unravel the threads. Many temples burned. Good to know. That confirms that hypothesis. All right. Okay. So this we can't do until we get 50 circuit boards. Uh, have we unlocked circuit boards? I don't think we have. We have. Oh. All right. What does this do? Let's look at that again. Production amplifier. I think this is the thing that gives us, uh, allows us to double up. All right, let's grab, uh, I do have 34 circuit boards, so we just need to make another 16. Production amplifier unlocked. Every single manufacturing and smelting building will be backwards compatible with this new technology. These buildings can now have a summer sloop embedded to increase resource output without requiring more input, at the cost of greatly increased power consumption. 
Flow cycles within flow cycles make explosions into temples into explosions into temples. <laughs> the spin sphere of woven windows. Each tiny body contains tinier bodies until the line layers fold into curves, which folds into threads, which weave the tapestry. A song of light and leaf and flower, a dance of matter clouds, and... I think they're trying to explain energy to matter conversion theory, but you do not need to understand it to do your job. <laughs> I'll just mute them for you so you can continue Thank you. your mission. <laughs> I, however, will be taking notes. <coughs> this is fascinating material. That's funny. Okay. Um, all right, so this changes things. I'm going to keep you with me a little bit longer. This is going to be a long episode. That's all there is to it. Uh, but if we take now and put down a constructor, um, let's just put it right there, and then put down a storage. Grab some power and set this to make purple power shards. And then we can put. We only put one of those in. Okay. So, yeah, that doubles that. Nice. All right. And then, uh, where are my purple slugs? I have them over here. I guess I could have just put them in manually, but that's going to make us a boatload of power shards, like twice as many. Nice. It's making its alien noise. Oh, it's even has like alien exhaust coming out of it. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, wow. That's cool. Okay. Beautiful. We're going to do one last thing before I let you go. Um, we're going to go back to here. We have... Um, we have 12 Mercer Spheres, so I want to get the next level of capacity, which will take seven. Dimensional expansion increased to 300%. New understanding of matter manipulation technology allows the dimensional storage to deconstruct all matter to the subatomic level, storing its elementary particles until the part is recalled. You are digging into deeper layers. Shallow matter contains window symphonies and void songs and deep echoes. It is fascinating what one can find out simply by looking closer. All right, and then... Um we don't have quite enough computers to do the manual depot uploader, so I guess we'll have to hit that one when we get access to more computers. But I wanted to increase the depot expansion. Uh, I, I felt that was the higher priority. So that still leaves us with uh, five spheres, which I think I'm going to use to make more depots and place on top of a few more uh, of our storage, uh, in, like this one, for example, so that we can get that stuff uh, up into the depot as well all right guys well that's gonna wrap up this episode here this was a fun episode um and i'm gonna re-roll all of those drives in fact let's get that process started now and starting with this one here let's rescan that one. Oh, we can do that right away i thought we had to like completely rescan it oh shit okay diluted fuel all right, well, that's the one we're stuck with. I think this one's actually a really good one if you go through a whole, a whole bunch of hoops because it can allow you to stretch your oil a lot further. Uh, let's rescan this one. Okay, alternate bolt to plate. That is a good one. Um, that was one of the ones I wanted. So we're going to take that because it makes it takes screws, but it makes 15 per minute. So that's really good. All right, we're selecting that one. I'm glad we can do this right now. I thought we would have to let it rescan. All right, let's rescan this one. 
Oh, it gave me the iron pipe one again. Not that that's a bad one necessarily. Okay. Well, we're stuck with those. Let's rescan this one. Okay, that's a pretty decent one. Caterium circuit board. Um, bu -bu 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 -bu. There's... I think there's one that does 15 per minute on the circuit boards. This one's not bad, though, actually. We can make 75 per minute in the foundry. So we're going to... Let's actually take that one. And then that puts that one back into the mix. And then we have one more rescan. That's the one I wanted. Oh, good. Okay. So this is the solid steel ingot one. We're going to use this in our steel foundry. And it does 60 per minute instead of the 45. And uses two iron ingots and two coal. I just like this one because it gives us, you know, 60 per minute, which is which is more than the normal recipe, so just fewer machines. So that's one of, one of the ones I was hoping for, and the other one was the bolted plates, which we also got. So this is great. Okay. We got what we needed. And then these guys just... They're pretty much there forever. But if I leave them... then And this one's actually a good one. Um, it's just that we're not really ready to do anything with it yet. And... I don't know why in the hell you would do use this at all. It just doesn't make a lot of sense. Well, I mean, let's see. What do you? Well, actually, you know what? Now I think about it. This isn't so bad because you only get. I think you only get 15 concrete per minute with the default recipe. Let's look at that. Yeah, so you only get 15 per minute. So that's actually not a bad recipe because of the quantity that you can get out of it. So I'm going to sit on those. Iron pipe's not necessarily a bad one. What's the default recipe give us? Uh, 20 per minute. There's one that does 50 per minute, though, which is pretty good, too. And fused quick wire. See, the thing is, is my experience with quick wire is that I always have it coming out my ear, so... <laughs> that's not necessarily going to always be the case, though, so... This isn't a bad one, either. Anyway, nevertheless, we are going to just sit on those for now. I'm not going to... I'm not going to do anything with them for now. All right, guys, that's going to be it for this episode. Uh, I'm going to be spending some off-camera time um, designing the new steel factory. And then um, we probably will start that build in the next episode. Not promising that, but we probably will. We'll just have to see how things go. Thanks, everybody, for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And if you did, please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, share out the video. We'll catch you all in the next episode. Bye-bye.